Hello, Leander ISD. As we continue to phase students back to in-person learning, we wanted to give you a quick update of where we are. This week, we welcomed our phase two students back and things appear to be going particularly well this week. Next Monday, we welcome phase three students back and by October 5th, we hope to have anyone who chooses to be in person back in our district and operating. We also started our athletic competitions this week and those have been going particularly well. We ask you to continue to be patient with us as we finalize these phases of in-person learning. We've all had lots of different experiences in this global pandemic, but the one common theme is that we have stuck together and helped each other out. It continues to be very important as we go forward that we exercise the self-screeners of our own health before we show up for in-person learning or meetings that we continue to wear our masks at all times, to socially distance wherever possible, and to make sure that we sanitize our hands by either hand washing, which is our preference, or if that's not possible, with hand sanitizer. We know that everyone is stretched thin in this time, and we wanna really thank everybody for their patience and their commitment to moving forward as a community. I wanna thank our school board for their strong leadership during this time, as well as our administrative team for the planning that they're doing to make sure that we all stay safe. But there are a lot of folks out there doing a lot of work that's helping to keep us all safe. I wanna thank our custodians for the additional hours that they're doing to cover uh, vacant positions and to do the extra cleaning that's required after COVID cases are identified. I wanna thank our technology team. They've had to pivot on a dime to make sure that we can do school in a whole entirely new way. I want to make sure that I thank our parents and our students for their patience and for their commitment to making sure that learning continues in our district at the level of excellence that we've all come to expect. I just want to share with you that this has been a tough time for me in making decisions that don't appear to ever have the right answer. And I know that a lot of our staff are feeling the same way. We are facing challenges that we've never had to face before and it doesn't feel like we're necessarily always providing the right solutions. But I want to reassure you that the work that you're doing is making a phenomenal difference in the lives of this community. And that is what counts. We together can do this and we can make a difference. So thank you for being one LISD.